Hi, this is Miles from the Ozo team at Nokia. Let's go ahead and show you what's inside the box and how to set it up. First and foremost, obviously you have your camera, the Ozo, with the protective cover. Uh, we also have our media module. This includes our battery and our SSD card. Now the SSD card is 500 gigs. That'll run you about 45 minutes record time. And it fits right in there. Snaps in. Uh, we also have our docking station. Now the docking station has two functions. The first function, obviously, that's where you can charge your battery at. Uh, and you also have the ability to download your media as well from another USB 3.0 port. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the battery and how you place it in the camera while it's on a monopod. If you notice here, there is a little lever. You just pull that out. The battery just slides right out. And when you put it back in, just make sure that you snap it into place. If you want to go ahead and you have a longer record time, you want to use external power, feel free to do that. You need to be very careful when you put it in. Just make sure that you don't twist the whole unit, just the silver ring right here. And then you want to go ahead and hook up your DIN cable into the bottom port. So we have three physical buttons on the top of the camera. We have your power, your internet connectivity button, and your record button. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of different mounting options. We have the elongated mount right here and the short mount. Both are included in the kit. Uh, they both use 3 8 16 screw mount. For professional applications, obviously, uh, you can put it on your monopod, uh, drone, uh, jib. You can even undersling it if you want. All works great. So those are our mounting options. In the next chapter, we're going to learn how to connect to and control the camera with Ozo Remote.